Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about replacing the solid state drive of the Steam Deck. So this is Valve's new portable gaming handheld. I'm going to be basing this information on Valve's teardown video. So the first thing that we need to do is to flip over the Steam Deck and then we're going to access these four screws. So these are standard Phillips head screws. There is one in each corner, top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. So just go ahead and use a standard Phillips head screwdriver and then remove all four of those screws. So these screws are going to be different lengths from the next set of screws, so put them in a separate pile. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the four center screws in the middle of the scheme deck. So these are shorter screws, so put them in a separate pile. So two of them are in the middle of the chassis and two of them are at the very bottom edge of the chassis. So once you've gone ahead and removed all eight screws from the back cover of the Steam Deck, then it's time to remove the back cover. So this can be done with your fingernails or using a plastic pry tool. Please be careful to keep it intact in a one piece and not to damage your Steam Deck. So once the back cover is removed, the very first thing that we should do is to disconnect the battery. This is because the battery can still deliver charge and it can damage components if you're handling them while it's still being powered. So all you need to do is to use your fingernail or you can use a plastic spudger to pull the battery cable out. The next part we need to remove is the shielding. So this covers the solid state drives and other components. So to remove the shielding, we need to take off the top left and bottom left corner screws. So these are standard Phillips head screws once again, and these are also different lengths. So make sure to put them in a different pile. So the next part is to remove the two center screws. Now these are actually hidden under little metal stickers. So you can remove these using a pair of tweezers, or you can probably pull them off using a spudger or your fingernail. So once those are exposed, there are two small black Phillips head screws, and we just remove those and put them in a different pile. And then we'll be ready to remove the shielding itself, which will expose more parts underneath. Once that is removed, we can pull up the shielding itself. This is quite delicate, so please be careful. This solid state drive should be user replaceable with any other M.2 solid state drive as long as it is 2230 millimeters in length. So there are not that many solid state drives of this length commercially available for end users at the moment, but I will be putting some links in the description for compatible models. So in order to remove the solid state drive, we have to remove this single Phillips head screw. So go ahead and use a standard Phillips head screwdriver and pull out the holding screw, and that is going to reveal the solid state drive, which will pop up and you can just pull this solid state drive open, the 2230 module. And this has a shielding around it, which we're gonna be able to transfer to a new solid state drive. So the new 2230 M2 solid state drive needs to be placed at an angle, and then it needs to be secured with that holding screw in the reverse order. So last thing to do is to reconstruct the Steam Deck. So just follow these steps in reverse, then you'll be able to put your Steam Deck back together. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.